What is Zero Trust Architecture? In this video, we will define Zero Trust Architecture, lay out the pros and cons of implementing Zero Trust Architecture. To understand what Zero Trust Architecture is, it is helpful to first be familiar with what a network and firewall are. A network is the interconnection of computing devices, from computers, to phones, to printers, to smart devices, and so on. Firewalls are devices or programs that regulate the flow of network traffic between networks or hosts that have different security levels. In a traditional network setup, devices and users on the internal or trusted side of the firewall are assumed to be safe. However, with a zero trust approach, even these devices and users must be verified before being allowed access to resources. A zero trust architecture does away with any implicit trust. Instead, it continuously validates and verifies trust at every stage of a digital interaction. Signals, such as information on the location of the device or whether it is up to date, are used to make decisions. Combined, these signals can provide the assurance needed to grant access to a resource. A key reason to implement zero trust architecture is to enhance security. If an organization places the majority of its security measures at the edge of a network, it will be extremely difficult to identify or control an intruder if they successfully breach that initial line of defense. But a zero trust model works on the principle of never trust, always verify. This makes disruption difficult for a malicious actor because every action a user or device takes is subject to some type of evaluation. It also encourages organizations to move toward tracking activity related to user devices and services. This provides detailed information that makes it easier to detect security issues. On the other hand, it can be difficult to implement zero trust architecture. Zero trust isn't a standard or specification. It's an approach to designing an architecture. This can make it difficult to know if you're doing it right. The National Cybersecurity Center, or NCSC, has a variety of materials on zero trust architecture on its website, including principles for designing zero trust architecture and guidance on migrating to zero trust. So please make sure to visit. This video is part of a series designed to expand your understanding of digital, technology, and cybersecurity concepts. To learn more about the terms we covered, please watch our other videos.